Hi there. Lots of you have been asking about how to set up a Google Meet, and so we're going to go through a couple different ways to do that and some important parts that you and your teachers might want to know in order to do this. So the very first thing you'll do is you go to either your Google Drive or anywhere, just even Google Google, and get to the waffle. So once you click on your waffle, we're going to go down here to Google Meet. And this is the first way to launch. This would be if you want to um, have a meet that you're going to have right away. So all I'm going to do right now is I'm going to say join a meet or start a meet. So I'm just going to click on here. There we go. And I'm going to call this uh, test one. Continue. So that gives it a nickname. Other people would see that if they're joining and they'd know to you'd want to tell them ahead of time, uh, join test one. And so um, right now, there's no one else here. I'm going to start it. So I'm going to actually join meeting. And once I do that, it's going to give me the information that I can share with other people. So I could copy this join info, um, and then I could go to another tab and email it. Or I could go down here, and I could add Kathy and some other people and just invite them that way. Or I could call them right in real time and their phone would ring that they were getting a Google Meet Hangout. That's probably not the one that we're going to want to use. So that's um, the one way. Now you'll see here that I'm large as life and a little laggy. So if um, the camera's an, uh, a lag option on your internet, you can use at the bottom. Uh, you can click off the little camera icon and that will maybe help with internet speed if things are laggy. The other thing that's really important is um, once you have people in your Hangout, they'll appear in the top right hand corner. You can see I'm the only one in here right now. Um, but kind of the protocol is that the person who is speaking will have their microphone on and anyone else who comes into a meet would mute themselves. And so this would be important to teach students or your staff if you're going to use it for meetings. So down at the bottom, I'm going to click my microphone button and you'll notice now up beside my icon in the top right here, I have a little mute symbol. And so let's say it's my turn to talk again. I just unclick the microphone at the bottom and you can see now I'm getting the little green talk, talk bars. And so mute, um, you wouldn't hear me in the um, recording or in the, uh, Google Meet. Another way that you would want to uh, perhaps schedule in advance, and this is maybe the better way for what we'll be using Google Meet for, is to go into your Google Calendar and you click on a date. Okay, and so then I'm going to go test one Google Meet. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on um, add location or conferencing. Let's, we'll set a time here. Um, but when I click on add location, and sorry, add conferencing, it's going to actually generate for me a future Google Meet code. And so now um, I can copy this, I can send this in an email, I can copy this and put this Meet code into my Google Classroom, I can email it, um, and I can set this Meet ID for some time in the future, and then my students or my teachers can add that to their Google Calendar. So if you want to set up your Meet ahead of time, and give students the email or put it in classroom ahead of time, this is how you would go about and do that. So we're going to go back to the Google Meet here that's already running and look at a few other things. Um, I'm just going to move this over here for a second. Down in this bottom corner um, is how you would present your screen. So I'm going to click on present now. And who, when I do that, it's going to show you, I'm going to click my entire screen here. And I'm going to click share. And so now whatever tab I press on, it says I'm presenting to everyone. Um, whatever tab that I press on now would be the, t um, the items that everyone would see from my computer. So that's how I would do that. A new thing that has just opened up to us, I'm going to turn presenting off here, stop presenting. Uh, the other thing that's just opened up to us is the ability to record. This is just new this week. And so if you wanted to um, have a safety mechanism in recording, um, you just have to make sure you let everyone know ahead of time that that is happening. Call me if you have questions and I'd love to help you out.